this is the Samsung Omnia W, Samsung's Windows Phone 7 Mango device. And like all Windows Phone 7 devices, Microsoft does not allow the manufacturer to do much customizations or any customizations for that matter to the user interface. So um, I'm going to be spending more time on the hardware, which we shall just start right now. This is a 3.7 inch display, an OLED display, so which is really nice. Samsung has always been very good with their OLED displays. So, um, you know, you can uh, expect to have really vibrant colors uh, on this device itself. Uh, we've got touch sensitive buttons for the back as well as the search and you've got the uh, the Windows um, button which is a physical button itself so the good thing with that is that you can just hit this Windows button which is al always easy and bigger to find compared to the power button and get it to turn on so that you can just unlock it without having to find this tiny little button on the side here alright on the front here you have a front facing camera because this is a Windows Phone 7 device that can actually make video calls which is very nice proximity sensor as well as the ambient uh, brightness sensor on this side over here you have the power button as well as the two level camera button on the top here you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you have the loudspeaker over here 5.0 megapixel autofocus camera LED flash, a somewhat metal backing, volume controls on this side, a micro USB port as well as the microphone on the bottom. Overall the design is actually quite alright, it's, it's pretty simple and uh, pretty standard for a Samsung um, device. One thing I do want to say about these touch sensitive buttons is, is that even though these two buttons are backlit, the Windows button isn't by the way, uh, like a lot of Samsung products for some strange reason the, the light just goes away very very fast. So um, it gets a little bit annoying because all of a sudden you find these but two buttons kind of disappear. Not that you will have problems finding the buttons, it's just that suddenly it, it gets a bit uncomfortable when you see the light system very very quickly. And again, even though these two buttons are lit up, the one in the middle doesn't light up, so which just gives you a funny experience at night. Alright, let's talk about the software right now. While Samsung can't actually customize the user interface, they can introduce custom software into the phone itself, which is what Samsung did with the Omnia W. There's seven applications that uh, I can highlight to you, which is very interesting. One of them is AllShare, which is a DLNA software that allows you to share the music and videos from and photos as well from this phone to any DLNA supported you know, home entertainment system, including the Xbox as well as your PS3. FunShot is an Instagram type of application that allows you to take photos with special effects. You know, you've got your usual um, stuff like a bulge, pinch, twirl, and twist, um, as well as you know thermal dots and you know and, and things like that. They've also put in a mini diary software that allows you to you know do your own journaling. Uh, a now software, the daily briefing software that allows you to uh, keep up to date with news sources as well as Twitter and the weather and stocks. And they even allow you to put a live tile so that whenever the category that you selected comes to the new news, you will be able to see it immediately, which is a nice uh, little handy feature. Then you've got Photo Studio, which is a another photo enhancing uh, camera app, which allows you to take lomo shots, beauty shots, a plus me feature, which at the lets you put yourself more than once within the same photo, Dreamshot and Panoramas. And then we have uh, RSS Reader and a video call application. So um, you know, Windows Phone actually doesn't come with a built-in video call. So in order to enable video calls, Samsung put in their own um, video calling application inside to make use of the front camera. And a wireless manager software, um, which gives you ability to change your call for forwarding as well as your APN settings on the phone itself. So those are the custom applications that come with the Omnia W. Certainly a lot more useful than what you find in some of the other Windows Phone devices. So that was the Samsung Omnia W, the brand new Windows Phone 7 Mango device by Samsung. And um, you know the design actually is very simple, but um, that makes the, the phone slightly affordable as well compared to some of the more premium Windows Phone devices. And fortunately with a Windows Phone, you can get um, almost the same experience in terms of the software as any other manufacturer, thanks to the restrictions that Microsoft have placed in. So this can actually be an option that you might want to consider if you're looking for a uh, slightly more affordable Windows Phone device. So that was the Omnia W. If you like this video, give us, a, give us a thumbs up so to let us know that we're doing a good job in letting you know the good and the bad of every device that we are showing you. Also do subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash 65 bits and visit our brand new website at www.tech65.org for more awesome tech content. And um, until next time, I'm Daniel. Goodbye.